Hi there. Welcome to the channel. My name is Alana, and I'm the creator of the Health Analytic Insights Podcast, where I interview guests and talk all things health informatics. I had the opportunity to poll several health professionals to learn about the tools that they use in their day-to-day -day jobs. And so in this video, I'm going to break down some of the technical skills that are commonly used by health informatics professionals. So without further ado, let's get into the video. When it comes to acquiring data and writing queries, SQL, which stands for Structured Query Language, is a commonly used language by health informatics professionals. And it's a really great tool to combine information from several tables together. So for example, you might have one table that has patient demographic information such as age, gender, and then maybe a primary key identifier in the form of a patient's health card number. And you might have another table in your database which um, houses the patient's medical condition and again a primary key identifier with their health card number. And to look at these two tables Together, you would use SQL to join these tables. And so this is a commonly used practice by health informatics professionals. So looking at the poll, I saw that R, SAS, and Python were common tools used for modeling and data exploration. And R and Python are open source tools, so you can download those today and play around with the open source data sets, which I will link to a few that are clinical focused, so you can develop those technical skills. And it's a great tool to practice your descriptive statistics and doing things like outlier analysis and understanding how the data is spread. And of course, theoretical knowledge is really important. When it comes to developing your technical skills, there's nothing like you know downloading R or Python, looking at a data set, getting stuck at a problem, going to Stack Overflow for the 20th time that day. And so once you've you know manipulated your data, writing SQL queries, you've done some data exploration using R, Python, or SAS, you probably want to present the insights that you've uncovered from your data. And so many tools that professionals use in this field include Excel, Power BI, Tableau, Click, etc. So being able to present your insights, especially to clinicians or to a wide audience, is key in this field. So again, you can download Power BI for free in the Microsoft Store and kind of play around with some of the functionality and do the same with Excel and really get into the mindset of how to communicate in your data insights to potentially a non-technical audience. So last but not least, tools such as Microsoft Planner, SharePoint, Jira were highly ranked in this poll. And this makes a lot of sense because in the health informatics professional, you'll often be juggling multiple requests. And so it's important that you have documented all the reports that you might get from report requests that you might get from the IT side or the clinical side to ensure that you're keeping on deadline and making sure that you're meeting all the requests. So I hope this overview of some of the top technical skills and tools used by health informatics professionals has been useful for you. Comment down below, if you're in the health informatics field, do you use these tools? What tools did I miss? I'd love to hear from you. Thanks and have a wonderful day.